Um, new Live at Five, just, this just in, we're told the Pell City Animal Center will reopen tomorrow. The center will was closed as they quarantined after a case of distemper. Yeah, it is highly contagious and the center's vet is treating all the animals and says so far, thankfully, they are responding well. Our East Alabama reporter Bria Chapman is live at five with a doctor on the symptoms you may want to be looking for in your pets and how to make sure they stay healthy, Bria. Yeah, that's right, Jonathan and Sarah. Now, some of the symptoms are a runny nose and vomiting, which may not seem serious, but Dr. Jerome Williams says it is because the disease is highly contagious and there is no cure. He says the best option is to get your pet vaccinated as early as possible. Uh, vaccinate, vaccinate, vaccinate. That's going to be the key. Although there's no cure for distemper, Dr. Williams says getting your dogs vaccinated annually is the best option. It's called a pantrophic virus, meaning it affects all the cells in the system of the dog. And it's most often noticed initially as a respiratory infection or a runny, snotty nose. That's the, an anodiarrhea. Those are the early signs we generally see with the distemper. Sometimes the symptoms can be mistaken for rabies, but Dr. Williams says distemper attacks various systems within your dog's body. It's highly contagious. It's, a, it's spread by droplets and by respiratory. So whenever you get it in an environment, it's always very, very serious because it can spread by air. It can affect just the GI and the respiratory. But the final stage of it, it affects the neurological signs and give, uh, can cause seizures and paralysis. Dr. Williams says it's best to get your pet vaccinated as early as you can, but also watch their surroundings and how they interact with other animals. Go through that series of vaccinations for your puppies and for your older dogs. Do that and you can lessen the possibility of getting distemper. Now, distemper can be carried by uh, raccoons and fox and coyotes and other animals. So if your animal is in that kind of environment where those uh, critters are, then they could, through their droplets and whatnot, get distemper as well. Yeah, and leaders in Pell City say the veterinarian has been clearing those animals to return back to their owners and to the shelter. Now, the good news is they will reopen tomorrow, but they are answering all questions that you may have on their Facebook page. And we'll have a link posted in this story on our WBRC News app. Reporting live, I'm Bria Chapman, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side. Bria,